Okay, our next position we're going to take a look at is the offensive line. And uh, here comes our new offensive line coach, All right. three time Super Bowl winner for the New England Patriots, Adrian Clemens. All right, that's a hard act to follow, so I'm just getting right to it. <laughs> First guy up is Carl Hewlett. This guy, what was this? Uh, this guy is a guy that's committed to me at another school that I was at. And the first thing when I came over here, <laughs> the first thing I did when I got over here is he, I brought him to the table and I said, uh, one of the things that Jim's been emphasizing is he wanted a physical group that was disciplined, that got after him, and wanted to change the mentality around here. And I said, if you want to do that, you know, you need to do that in the middle of the offensive line. He's a guy we brought in here at center and he possesses all, possesses all those qualities. He's um, about 6'2", 6'2 and a half, 298, not very... I mean, not, you know, usually we're a little, a little heavy or whatever. <laughs> but uh, even though he's 290 and change, I mean, he is a physical specimen. He can run, jump, and do, uh, do everything. He's one of the top wrestlers in the state. Uh, Dad is a well-known wrestler uh, in his collegiate days. He's right here at right guard. As you see, he plays with good leverage, hand placement. He's a finisher. He's at right guard again. Coming off the ball, as you see, our plays aren't as exciting as no one <laughs> ever this play. For me, I get excited about this kind of stuff. Mm. He's a finisher, loves the game, it's physical, and excited about being here. Excellent student. <laughs> yeah, knock a guy down and let him know all about it, too, which I like. This is Simon Goins, a.k.a. Big Meech. He's a little taller than me, wider shoulders. Uh, he's a guy that had maybe 15 to 20 offers, SEC, Big 12, the whole nine. Uh, he's a basketball player and a football player. He's never had a football offseason ever. 6'6", 315 is just all natural. You know, just all natural. Uh, just started lifting weights. It's a three, uh, I think it's a 345 venture now. 32-inch um, vertical, which is pretty impressive for somebody his size. Uh, played an AAU circuit, has been familiar with this, uh, with this area, come out here in Las Vegas um, since maybe 6th or 7th grade, he's been playing here every offseason. So, uh, Simon's a guy I offered two years ago when I was at the other school, and at the time he and I clicked early on. His dad is a, um, a guy that likes to talk and he likes to you know, get after a little bit, talk a little bit about football. He's a guy that played in college. And we used to come over there and meet up on the weekends, and for, for a long time I thought I had a chance with him. And then going into a senior year, I was kind of pressuring her, trying to get an early commitment from him. And he's like, Coach, I like you, but he's like, I want to play big time football. He's like, I just like hanging out with you when I come up here. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of, you know, I kind of backed off on him, stopped writing letters and everything, but we kept in contact. And as soon as I got the job, I called him up on the phone and I said, Hey, if you want to play big time football, why don't you come out here and give us a shot? Came out here, he loved it, went back. He was actually committed to Missouri for almost a year and a half. Uh, went out there, we went to his house the same day when I was up at school, home of state, everybody was up there. Uh, had his mindset, he was excited about this, even though he had pressure from everybody at school to stay in Texas. Both stay in that area. Keep in mind when you're watching this, is a raw guy that's never had off season, but he plays a tremendous amount of power. <laughs> Very athletic, raw. He's a guy that I see that maybe three, four weeks into the season gets it and clicks and is a totally different person. <laughs> He's a finisher, physical, and nasty, which usually basketball players are soft. <laughs> just pretty boys. And he actually played in, the, in one of the toughest leagues in the country. And his team. So he's playing against good talent week in and week out. And uh, he is one of the better players on the field, even though his team wasn't that great. Colby Seibert is a local kid. He's from Bishop Viejo. Comes from a really strong program where they sent six to seven kids. I think they had eight kids today at their national signing day. Uh, it's a very strong program. Bob Johnson is a coach that's well known out here. Um, he's a quarterback guru. Everybody knows about him. His son actually played here. Um, uh, he's a guy um, 
that I think has tremendous upside. One of the big things that we uh, wanted to focus on coming out here was having a strong presence in Orange County, not just in Los Angeles. And I thought this is a big exit of school that we have and offer out to a couple of uh, younger guys that we'd like to get as well. His dad actually lives right around the corner in Bel Air, so he's, he's a local kid, uh, has a uh, dual player household. Um, he actually has only been playing offensive line for two years, and so he has a tremendous amount of growth potential as well. Quick feet, plays with good hands, plays with pretty good leverage. It's a finisher, football's important to him. Stepfather's winning assistance there. One of the things I like as offensive uh, line coach is to move guys uh, from the defensive end or from the tackle position, move them inside. He's a guy that has the potential to play guard. He can run really well. He's a finisher, as you see, he takes his guys to the sideline. And uh, as I said before, he's from a strong program, so you know he's well coached, so he has a strong foundation. Uh, my last guy is Lacey Westbrook. He's from uh, Compton Dominguez. Uh, he's the guy that was committed here, and coincidentally, he was on his official visit to SMU the week that I actually got the job here. And so, uh, and I can tell you about our conversation, you know, but I found out that I was coming here and told him to hold off a little bit, but <laughs> so. he's a great kid. A little bit heavier than 315 right now, but we get that down. Uh, he actually, he broke his ankle. His, uh, he broke his, he's a guy that'll be a guard, he's playing tackle in this film, but he broke his ankle uh, middle of the previous season. Uh, he's a guy that had offers from Auburn, uh, a number of Pac-12 Pac schools, and um, he was a, he's a national recruit, big-time recruit, uh, broke his ankle, and he's, uh, you know, been working hard to come back from that. Has a lot of natural gifts, as he learns a little bit more about football and works on his technique, plays a little bit of leverage, a little, little better leverage, I think he can be a dominant uh, pass blocker and run blocker. And this is my boy, Big Cheech. He's from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> the Russian bear. He's 6'5", 305. Uh, he's a strong guy. We were actually watching this uh, film yesterday, power cleaning. I don't know what that was, Jeff, about what, 3.30 or something? Yeah, about 3.30, and just uh, he has a lot of natural, just brute strength. Uh, tough kid. Uh, I think it's his second year of playing organized football. And I actually saw him, I was his first offer two years ago. And he's another kid that told me he wanted to play big time football. And I didn't talk to him for about a year after offering him. And then I got here, and this coach gave me a call and said he was interested. Um, he's a guy that was actually going to sign with Arkansas, uh, I think it was Arkansas, and Pat and I stayed on the phone with them from about 7 in the morning to about 5 that night. <laughs> Usually guys get their uh, paperwork in about 9 in the morning, but we had the language barrier, a number of things working, working against us, so it's kind of tough. <laughs> mm. And he's a guy, once he gets it, he's another guy that I said just has raw talent, that once he gets top and he knows what to do, he's a tremendous athlete, can run, do, I mean, he can do everything. Has good knee bend, plays with power. And once again, one of the things I emphasize is being physical. The guy can be physical and, and football's important to him, I take care of all the rest, technique-wise. He played tackle at Santa Monica College, but I'm gonna have him, but he's gonna play guard here. I'd like to see him finish a little bit better, but he'll learn that in time. So, here goes the soft guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I better take the microphone. I'd like to introduce Mini Me. <laughs> <laughs>